What's up everybody, Ryan here, coming at you from my garage in good old Hermitage, Pennsylvania. I wanna to talk to you today about Ellie Tech and their new digital manifold set. So this is the Ellie Tech LMG-10 digital manifold set. And as you may or may not know, Ellie Tech has sent me their vacuum pump about six months ago to use and make a video on that. And let me tell you, I've been real happy with it. They reached out to me, I was a little skeptical at first. Right out the bat, when it came in the box, I pulled it out, I was pretty happy with the, you know, I was expecting some cheap, lightweight, digital manifold. Uh, these retail for only $189, so they're pretty affordable. Let's just go over what this thing looks like. As you can see, it just looks like a, a standard digital manifold set, kind of like how the Testos look. Um, I have the field piece myself, but this is a very nice compact display. And as you can see, let me kick the light on here. It is a backlit. Obviously you have your power button here, which turns it off, turn it back on. Kind of boots up. Then you have the option of switching between your refrigerants. So I've been working on 410A. So we're gonna leave it on 410A. You've got your three uh, connections here for your hoses. Got a sight glass here right in the middle. Your valves right here. Your mode settings. You've got your superheat and subcooling. We're gonna connect the uh, clamp uh, temperature probes here in a second. They got a nice weight to them. On the back, you've got your hook and it, it the magnet kind of holds it in place right there, but they they sit real nice and, you know, they hang right on your unit. And um, to be honest with you, I was a little skeptical when I first agreed to accept this, but um, just the build of this unit seems real nice. Everything seems very sturdy. I was a little skeptical of the vacuum pump too when they sent it to me, but I've been more than happy with this. Uh, I've had no complaints. The thing works, it held up. It's a little dirty, but I've been using it. So let's go ahead and connect the uh, temperature clamps. All right, so right up top are two uh, rubberized, uh, um, you can see right there, just like a rubberized cover that kind of pushes on, but um, you take your uh, clamps. I need to get some of the Velcro straps, but these kind of push right in top, right in the top. And that's that. So our one pipe clamp is uh, connected. And I've been leaving them kind of bound up and then just clamping them right, right here to the hose. But as you can see, we've got our temperature. We're both reading 39 degrees. Uh, they're not exactly the same temperature, but they're close enough for me. So. That's how you use your superheat in your subcooling feature on this. All right, guys, it says here that it's got a uh, measurement range of 14, negative 14.5 to 800 PSI, negative 40 to 302 degrees Fahrenheit, accuracy, pressure, plus 0.5%, uh, resolution, whatever. None of this stuff really makes any difference to me. As long as it tells me my pressure, it uses three AA batteries, 88 different types of refrigerant. I can use PSI, which is the majority of what we're gonna be using, unless you're in a different country. You know, you might be using something diff different than us. Uh, 200 hours of battery life. And then just, it's got the operating instructions here. It's really not a whole lot. It kind of shows you how to, how to maneuver and navigate through the, um, menu you can switch from fahrenheit to celsius right through your different refrigerants but you know i was a little concerned i was a little leery to accept these but i've been <laughs> pretty happy with them so far i've used them on a couple of jobs and we're gonna see that here after i uh finish up with this brief introduction of the unit what's up guys all right i'm here doing a uh, high pressure switch and a fan cycle switch on this carrier unit. I wanted to show you the new manifold set that Ellie Tech sent me. It's the LMG10. Pretty slick, so I've got it hooked up here just so I can test this fan cycle switch. As you can see, I'm set on 410. I got 100 pounds of standing pressure. I don't have the uh, temperature clamps uh, put into it now. I'm basically just 
testing this switch to make sure that my uh, pressures are set right for the fan cycle switch. I actually have the heat on right now uh, so they can warm the store up a little bit before I kick the AC on, but I'm pretty happy with the uh, overall feel of this manifold set. I'm gonna let this store warm up and then I'm gonna kick it on an AC, test this uh, fan cycle switch before I get down off this roof. Uh, so that's just a quick preview of the Yelly Tech LMG10 digital manifold set. All right, guys, I've got it hooked up now. I got the AC running, and as you can see, I've got the fan kicking on around 310 pounds. It's keeping my uh, suction saturation pressure up, freezing. And you can see a nice display on this, so I'm pretty happy with this uh, Elitech digital manifold set. All right, guys, so uh, did a compressor replacement here, some TXVs on this uh, Linux uh, condensing unit. But I wanted to go ahead and show you. I got a pressure test here on um, the system. We're holding 314 and a half pounds. Got the new digital manifold here from Ellie Tech. It's the LMG-10. Pretty nice. Everything's working according to uh, plan and um, haven't had any real issues with anything. Uh, it's a nice, small, compact uh, manifold set for 189 bucks. I mean, you can't beat that. So I just want to thank the guys over at Ellie Tech for sending me this. It's winter now and we're not doing a whole lot of uh, air conditioning work. So no issues so far. It's a nice little unit. I'm pretty happy with it. So that's that. I'm going to go ahead and dump this charge and get my uh, vacuum hoses hooked up and uh, suck this unit down. All right, guys, I got my hoses all hooked up. Micron gauge is in place. And of course, I'm using the Ellie Tech two-stage intelligent vacuum pump uh, along with their new manifold set on this job so again thanks Ellie Tech. all right guys I got my vacuum all done I'm charging this system here and as you can see you got a nice sight glass here so you can see when you're adding liquid so that's a nice feature uh, on this manifold set as you can see it's kind of swirling around in there pretty nice so um, like I said, the Ellie Tech digital manifold set, pretty happy with it so far. I've got no complaints. A nice, small, compact unit here. Uh, we'll see how it does on the long run, but uh, for now, I'm pretty happy with it. So I wasn't sure what I was gonna do with these after I got them, but these are definitely a keeper. I'm keeping these, I'm gonna use them, and uh, you'll probably see me using these in the future. But yeah, I mean, for 189 bucks, if if you're just starting out in the field and you, you want a set of digital uh, gauges, and this is a nice solid little unit here, uh, and I've been pleasantly surprised with it. Yeah, so the Ellie Tech LMG10. I'm gonna give it a thumbs up for now, and I'm gonna continue to use this, and uh, we'll see how they, how they last on the long haul, but for 189 bucks, I mean, you can't beat that. So I've got some uh, links in the description if you wanna go ahead and check them out or even buy them. It's a nice, solid, little, compact uh, digital manifold. You can see it's about the size of my hand. Everything's nice and easy to read right here. Uh, it takes three AAA batteries. The valves feel nice and solid. They're not loose. It's a hard plastic. It's got a little bit of weight to it. I was expecting something. I, I wasn't sure what to expect, but I've been real, real happy with this so far. I've only had it about a couple weeks, and uh, I've used it a handful of times, but... Yeah, not bad. The Ellie Tech LMG10. Check that thing out. That's going to do it for this one, guys. I appreciate you watching. If you liked the video, hit that subscribe button. Hit that bell icon. That'll notify you anytime I got a new video coming up. I'm working on getting some new content out for you guys. It's been hard with uh, a lot of repair work here in the winter. And, you know, I can't make a video about every repair I make because it's just going to get repetitive. So I've got some stuff in the works. Stay tuned. Uh, check out some of my older videos i've got some links i'll put one right here to a couple of my um playlists check that stuff out uh i'm gonna be making some videos here for you real soon i appreciate you watching i'll see you on the next one